I'm Rob Cass, and I'm making this video because there's something that's really been bugging me. Science is facing a crisis. It has provided a foundation for the betterment of human beings, yet it's widely rejected as a credible source of information and judgment. Distrust of science has many sources, but one that has received too little attention, I would label a failure of narrative. It is the failure of scientists, journalists, and educators to describe accurately the results of scientific investigations and the knowledge they produce. Put differently, scientists, journalists, and educators don't do a very good job of describing what science actually is. And in their zeal to communicate, researchers themselves sometimes abuse the scientific process. As a result, it's easy to misconstrue science as a collection of purported facts, many of which turn out to be false, and this leaves people with no good reason to trust the conclusions of scientific studies. Like many other human endeavors, science is built on storytelling. The aim of science is to explain how things work. Scientific stories almost always blend results with speculation. But while they're offering explanations, these narratives should be clear about the strength of evidence and the resulting state of knowledge. In the 25-minute version of this video, I step through an example, a scientific article, which I chose partly because it illustrated what I wanted to say, but also because, in many ways, it's an excellent paper and it was published in a top journal. Yet, the authors abuse the scientific process by failing to separate clearly their findings from their speculative explanations. And this is pretty common. Having used that example to describe the failure of narrative problem, I then say what we have to do to solve it. We have to change our badly outdated descriptions of the scientific method and correct popular notions of science. The essential flaw in the ways we talk about science is that they neglect the fundamental process of reasoning from data. Reasoning from data is what statistics is about. But the di discipline of statistics is not simply a repository of tools and techniques. It also provides a conceptual foundation for scientific investigation. I go on to explain how a contemporary understanding of the scientific method must explicitly incorporate statistical thinking. And I conclude by saying that science and the world as a whole would function better if scientific narratives were informed consistently by statistical thinking. Recognizing this, the scientific community should insist on greater clarity and restraint in discussing results, while self-consciously promoting an accurate view of science. Providing our citizenry with an accurate view of science is our best protection against corrosion, the kind of corrosion that allows entry to the view of science as a bunch of opinions dressed up as facts. That's my message. I hope you'll watch my video.